the soldiers of the Parachute Regiment routinely carry out target practice. On this occasion, they filmed themselves and posted on social media. The headline, happy with that, suggests they've hit the target. Then footage reveals Jeremy Corbyn is apparently that target. His face has taken a number of hits, and the Labour leader responded, saying this is concerning at a time when threats against politicians are increasingly common. I'm shocked, obviously, that this sort of thing has happened. I hope the Ministry of Defence will conduct an inquiry into it and find out what was going on and who did that. From analysing details in this video, we know it was recorded recently. The Jeremy Corbyn image is from a speech he gave in Trafford in March 2018. There are also clues as to the location. The structure of the firing range appears to be the same as this one in pictures taken at a British base in Kabul, Afghanistan. The uniforms indicate these soldiers are from the Parachute Regiment. Markings on the video suggest three para. And the three para, we know, were posted from Colchester to Kabul in October last year. The commander responsible for three para says a full investigation has already begun. Let me be clear, the army is and always will be a totally apolitical organisation and this is a seria, serious error of judgement. Images of politicians are used sometimes in training where the objective is to protect a VIP, not, of course, to use them for target practice. Some of the units are actually working with VIPs and therefore when they do these room clearances they train using pictures themselves. But what we saw there was a lack of discipline uh, and, and uh, it, it should simply ha not happen. And that's why I'm pleased that the, uh, the Brigadier has said that he will do an investigation. The footage has been leaked at a time of increased tension in British politics and there's pressure on the investigation not only to find those responsible but to examine whether this reveals a bigger concern that politics is at play in Britain's armed forces allowing some soldiers to see the Labour leader as their opposition. Peter Smith, News at 10.